Set the tone, 81. Set the tone, 81. I need you to kick out. I need you to kick out. If you kick out and pick up that corner, leave me one-on-one -on -one with the safety. This is possible touchdowns. Oh, we might have it right here. Let's go. Possible touchdowns. Yes, sir. Come on, Bija. I'm telling y'all, this stretch is OP. Add it to your playbook right now. In this video, we got the best run play that is not an RPO out of the pistol East tight formation. I am in my custom, but I know this is found in the Eagles and I think the Colts playbook. The play is going to be the HB stretch, but I'm going to also show you a couple of plays you can add to this to, you know, get a little scheme going. It's going to be the tight end option, the HB zone, and then the HB stretch. Primarily, we're going to be running the HB stretch, but there is times you can run the zone and also the tight end option. Only thing that I would change personnel-wise, the side where your uh, wide receiver is, make sure you sub in your number one tight end on that same side for that specific play that we're going to run that's the pass play. So let's jump into the practice field and show you how we run these plays. All right, so we're going to go ahead and talk about the stretch. That's what brought us to this video. Now, this play is OP as a default. You can run it just like this and get really good results. But regardless, if I run it to the left, like let's say I flip the play towards this side, um, I always motion in the wide receiver, regardless if I'm running the default direction or if I'm flipping it to the left, just to keep my opponent on his toes. Normally, if I motion my uh, wide receiver in, it makes them think that I'm going to run this to the left. And what's crazy about this play is let's say that they're heavy to the side we're going to be running to. For example, right now we're running it to the right. They're actually pretty heavy on that side. They got somebody outside of my right tackle, my tight end. Um, they got the, the two linebackers and then the DB right here. Um, that's a pretty heavy look that would probably keep you from running it that direction. But the thing about this stretch is it, it's like a patient handoff. So it gives you time to see what opens up. Do you want to kick it all the way out? Do you want to, is there a gap between the center and the right guard, uh, you know, between the right guard and the right tackle? And even then there's, I don't know why, but the way that your O-line blocks, you can even kick this all the way, like past uh, Kyle Pitts, the, the Y icon, because just the way everything sets up. But let's go ahead and run the play and you, you can see what I'm talking about. Like it's a patient handoff. Like, look how I can cut this all the way back. If you got jukebox, this is hell for your opponent. But you see how everybody blocks like they go straight at that angle um, and they create that cutback lane. And if you're already a patient runner, this is a run you definitely want to add to your arsenal. But like I can even cut this all the way out uh, again. If you have jukebox, it's like basically over. You're going to get that 10 yards almost every time I get a lot of one play touchdowns. Now, again, if we want to run it to the left, we're going to flip the play first and then motion in the wide receiver. Um, and always double team, you know, if they got an SS on the uh, O line or D or on the D line, um, just to prevent them from breaking through too quick. But again, I can run it this way, and there was cutback lanes there, but you can also run it all the way to the outside. That's what makes this play just completely OP. So from there, we got the stretch. Um, and let's say like the inside was just looking, you know, they're, they're spread in the D line, they're spreading their linebackers. That's when you're going to mix in the inside zone. We're going to run it the same way. Double team whoever you need to. Um, by no means am I saying that this play is OP, but it's kind of the same thing. Like it's also another patient handoff and you can still like cutback lanes. Like you see that, like you can do cutbacks like that. Um, but the stretch is the better run by far. I promise you, you probably will barely use the inside zone because you can treat the, the, the stretch like an inside zone because of, like I said, how patient the handoff is. Like you can easily like just straight up cut it up uh, right up the middle like that. Um, so you'll most likely either use the stretch play or the pass play. So from there, let's go ahead and talk about the pass, the, the tight end option right here. All you're going to do it, you will actually, let's go ahead and move the ball because you would want to be on one of the hash marks when you do run the pass play. So we can get that, uh, high, low read the corner route with the streak. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So you would put X on a fade and basically leave everything else the same. Um, maybe smart route to tight end so he can go a little bit deeper just in case they're playing their flats around 10 or 15. Um, but basically you're just, you know, it's the corner streak read, wait for him to make his cut. That was kind of a terrible throw might be, but, um, that's basically it. You know, you're adding in that famous go-to pass, um, combinate the route combination with the streak, the corner, and then have a flat. And you can even put, um, Robinson on a, a wheel or a, a swing route. So he just develops faster so he can, you know, pick up, uh, make the, the flat go over there and try to pick them up and don't swing or, or don't swing. Don't, uh, sleep on the wheel route, especially if you got somebody like Robinson out of the backfield with jukebox, like you can easily turn this into something big. See with jukebox, I just went from being behind the line of scrimmage to getting like six plus yards. Um, so that's also something that you can add. Um, but you can also do different things. Like you could put X on a streak. You can actually motion over your inside, uh, tight end, put him on a, a swing route 
and then you could put the running back on a wheel route so you got something against man coverage there's different things you can do and you can even run the stretch like this where you motion over the tight end like that but the the go-to way is the way i showed you uh that's the way i've i've been getting the best results um but just to show you the the passing situation like this again we're just going to be looking for the corner route if they're playing deep with like a like a cover two with their flats playing 30 then just go for the swing route towards the flats but from here we're going to jump into some head-to-head -head game we are going to be using the falcons i know somebody was asking me to use the falcons we got a few more teams coming up i think the next team i'm going to use is the giants um and then after the gameplay i'll show you the depth chart how i set up my dbs and all that so we run how, so you know how to run the defense all right, we got game one. We might piss some people off here because we are going to be spamming this stretch just to show y'all how good it is. Now, mind you, we are going to mix in um, the pass play here and there. But for the most part, oh, I didn't even add it in. For the most part, y'all are going to be seeing, let's go ahead and run man coverage. Y'all are going to be seeing um, the stretch play. The user tackle, I'll take it. Don't lie down. Don't lie down. Okay, cool um again if y'all didn't hear me in my last video we had fully committed to the dollar or i'm sorry the dime one four that is my new defense everything is basically the same as um the dollar three two but there's just a little bit of differences here and there that we can uh do with this defense that you can't do with the dollar we're there i don't mind that that's a that's a um a money play a, a few people have dropped can be difficult to stop we will send blitzes if we have to give me that the falcons have a really good linebacker uh that i actually keep in when i know i'm going to use him anderson this guy right here um six foot four 91 speed he actually has 85 change of direction definitely an op linebacker that you can keep in um the falcons are kind of lacking when it comes to uh users uh as you can see i got aj terrell playing safety him and uh bates both have mid zone k or a deep o deep o deep out ko's um and that's why we play them there just in case they catch a deep on us they got that ability to knock it out but let's jump into this stretch play and show y'all how op it can be we might run this default we actually we might flip this to the left we might flip this to the left on a motion in london i'm gonna go to work Look at that. Look at that gap. That's what I'm telling. I'm telling y'all, man, the, the holes that this stretch gets is insane. Um, and you can run it to the left, to the right. And that's just what makes it so difficult. Now we're going to run a default to the right. Might be bringing a blitz. I don't know. But look, look how stacked he is. If we can get good yardage and he's stacked like this, everybody's brought up. This is how you know this run is OP. This is how you know this run is OP. Look at that. Look at the gap it's creating. He, oh 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 come on we almost had that i messed up i ran into somebody but look what he's having to do to even prevent me from getting three yards which we did get the three yards but uh you have to stack your defense big time we're gonna run it again we're gonna spam it we're gonna spam it we might run this to the left this time he's pretty heavy on that left side or the right side so yeah we'll run it to the left look at that that was just a good football play by a football player. I can't do nothing about that. But now we're in a perfect area to run the uh, the corner play. Um, so we're going to run this. And we're going to try to get some uh, a touchdown right here to Pitts. Which I, no, actually, it's not Pitts. I didn't sub him in, which something you should do. Sub in that guy. Touchdown. Let's go. Got him ready. We got him programmed for that stretch. We got him programmed for that stretch. And then we just opened up with the pass play right there. That was perfect. If he went to go play the corner route, which it looked like he wanted to, we would have hit the swing route with the running back wide open. You see there's nobody over there by Robinson right there. So either way, it would have been a good play for me. All right, now we can hit him with this stretch play a couple more times. He knows we have that pass play in our back pocket. Double team that guy. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's actually kind of throw him off. Let's motion out the outside wide receiver. Maybe we can think, get him thinking we're going to go for that, uh, that corner streak over there. Good blocks. Good blocks. I like it. I'll take it. Just a default stretch run, but just the way the blocks develop, it just makes it that much better. Like it's just so OP. Uh, you gotta, y'all gotta definitely add this play if you don't have it, or if you have this formation and you didn't even know about it, this time we're going to run it to the left, motion this guy in. Get a double team. Get an ID. This might, this one can go good. If we can set the edge on Ramsey, this could probably be a good play right here. Just get up good blocks. 
Yep. Always cut in and then juke out if you're going to go for that jukebox. Uh, just to get a better juke, especially if you really have nowhere to go. Um, that is the better juke than just actually trying to juke out and running that direction. Again, look, he's heavy to the left side. And, and you don't have to continue to run it to the heavy side like I am. I'm just trying to show y'all how good this run play is. I'm going to go ahead and actually run it towards that direction. And if it's not there, I got the, the, cutback, vent, uh, the cutback lane available. Watch what you're going to see. But look, I can still run this to the outside. And he had to try to stop it with the user. He's having trouble because just the gaps that open up. And I'm running it to the side. He's got more guys. All right, this is how confident I am in this run, though. I'm just going to run as a default. Motion him over. He's blitzing, too. Look at the lanes. Jukebox. Jukebox and this play together is OP. That's how confident I am with the run, knowing I got a running back like Robinson. It's just straight cash. All right, we got game number two. I try to offer that guy a friendly quit because when I spam something like this, I know it's kind of a bullshit thing to be doing, and I know it's a headache to go against. But he ended up declining it, and he actually just ended up quitting. I don't know why, but it is what it is on the game two. And he was actually trying to stop the run. like He was putting in effort to try to stop it with the formations he was coming out in and all that good stuff. Uh, but now we got a team that actually is good at run stopping. This is probably one of the best run stopping teams in the game. Uh, but let's see what we can do. First, we're going to be on uh, defense. What are we going to do with this setup we got here? Little cover 4-3 hybrid. That's me. Come, that's a pick. Come on. We played that. All right, we got 4-14. to 14. I do just have my, um, my purples at, uh, you know what? We're just going to put them at 25. We're going to change them to hard flats. So the hard flats is going to actually change them to play 25. Let's actually play the user or the sub linebacker. Uh, yeah, maybe a verticals play. We're there to play that. Terrible pass. I'll take it. I'll take it. There was nowhere for him to throw that. Nowhere for him to throw that. All right, this is how confident I am in this run, though. It's fourth and six. Again, similar situation to that first game. This is how, this is how much confidence I have in this run. Does it always work? No, but... It works more than it should. Let's see if this is one of those times. Good blocks, good blocks, good blocks. Look at eight. Look, look at Pitts over there setting the tone for me. I'm telling y'all, man, y'all gotta add this stretch to y'all's arsenal. This is OP. Now, because he's heavy and because they're so close to the line, if I can set the edge on the guy I got ID'd, this is a possible touchdown. Like if somebody can get, oh yeah, possible touchdown. JJ's that fast, or TJ's that fast? TJ watch that fast. I'm not going to lie, I thought I had more time to, to call Hut, but we got the delay. It's all good. Uh, this is definitely one of my go-tos, though, in the red zone because it's like one of those plays where if it's one-on-one -on -one towards the sideline, I could hit him with a jurdle and end up getting the touchdown. Like, this might be one of the opportunities right here. Jurdle, if my guy wasn't there, that's a possible touchdown. I'm just cutting it all the way out. If I can set the edge, I'm definitely taking it to the left. If I can set the edge right here, um, this is touchdowns. If London blocks that cornerback 23, this is touchdowns or not because of his user. But again, because he's too close to the line, he doesn't have anybody far out. It just becomes an issue for you. Like you have to have a cornerback. You got to base your defense to stop stretch plays to begin with. And on top of that, you just, you're dealing with an OP stretch play. He's either been running this or he's been running the, uh, Tight end, the heavy set tight end. Don't, don't throw that. Don't throw that. That's Jesse Bates. You're throwing it right to me. I'll take it. I'll take it. We're due for a one play touchdown out of this run play. We're due for a one play touchdown out of this run play. Is it going to happen right here? Are we going to get the one play touchdown? Come on. Let's get a good one. Set that edge. Set the tone, 81. Come on, Janu. Come on. Is this what we're looking for? Oh, bad run by me. Should have took that a little different. We should have took that a little bit different. All good, though. He can't stop the stretch. Can't stop the stretch. I know he's probably annoyed. Set the tone, 81. Set the tone, 81. I need you to kick out. I need you to kick out. If you kick out and pick up that corner, leave me one-on-one -on -one with the safety. This is possible touchdowns. Oh, we might have it right here. Let's go. Possible touchdowns. Yes, sir. Come on, Bijan. I'm telling y'all, this stretch is OP. Add it to your playbook right now. All right, time to talk about the depth chart. I am going to show y'all offense because there is a few things I do tweak when I use the Falcons. 
to make him that much better. Quarterback, we we do use Ritter, 88 speed. He can put some work in for us. This was a run play video, but uh, when I'm actually playing and using the whole playbook, that's who I'm going to be going with. Running back, obviously, Robinson. Um, my second wide receiver, I do put in Scotty Miller, 95 speed. There's no reason for him not to be in. Any of the other receivers just aren't that good anyways, so you might as well go with speed to help out Drake London, which is a good run blocker, six foot four, big body. Uh, tight end, obviously, Kyle Pitts, and you do got Jonu Smith, two really fast tight ends that can actually play a big factor for this team because you can play a big heavy set with two tight ends and also have Drake London in and get some really good blocks. Now, this is what I wanted to show you with the O-line. I do flip-flop the right tackle and right guard. You can see I have the right tackle playing right guard, and I have the right guard playing right tackle. Because he has secure protector, it just helps with those edge threats and things like that. So at least I know I got one superstar ability. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into the DBs. I know that's what the most important thing is. These are my number one and number two right here. Um, not a lot of speed on the Falcons. Not a lot of speed at all. My slot receiver or my slot cornerbacks are going to be two of them are, are their uh, their safeties are not that good. Uh, they're not that fast. They're basically just going to be fillers. Six foot one, though, um, they can definitely help with the run. 87 speed. Again, they're not having to chase anything downfield or anything like that. I just needed to play them curl flats and also help out with the run. So I went with safeties. There is a couple of cornerbacks you can play at this position. But again, to help with the run, I prefer the safeties. Uh, Jesse Bates, I leave him at safety, um, mainly because he has deep in uh, zone KO. So anything that gets like any type of post plays, he's got acrobat pick artists deep. You know, he's the perfect safety for the middle of the field. So 100% um, we keep him at safety. And then we also put AJ Terrell at safety because he also does. I mean, he's a man covered safety, but he also has deep out zone KO. So him playing safety. Playing all the deep routes, it can help just in case they catch it. He can make the tackle and knock the ball out. Um, sub linebacker, this is where it gets a little iffy. Um, this is kind of something that you're going to have to agree with. Maybe you don't like linebackers. I know sometimes they don't play the ball, but he is a sleeper linebacker. Six foot four, 91 speed, 93 acceleration, and he actually has 85 change of direction. Something that I can use. Look at my backup. He's actually a safety and he has 74 change of direction. This guy. You could probably interchange them with somebody else. Um, really, just a filler. Again, the Falcons don't have the most speed and the best safeties to run the defense that I like to run. But I'm definitely going with Troy Anderson. He's actually really good as a user if you're going to use him. Because if you kind of let him do his thing, yeah, he's fast. But he won't really play the zones like you would want him to. And again, you do have to sub in your guys um, at slot corner you can't just put them at one and three because sometimes they'll have like your number one and number two cornerback playing sub so, or uh, slot cornerback so uh yeah just make sure you put these guys in uh and yes they are safeties again they're going to be able to help with the run that's basically going to be it for the depth chart that's the video appreciate everybody that's been liking the video subbing up uh but that's it